Welcome to the channel folks. So today we're going to do a benchtop discussion of this guy right here. This is the DeWalt uh, 20 volt lithium ion 12 inch mini chainsaw. Uh, the model I have here guys is DCCS620. Now I want to talk about this little chainsaw which I kind of I love and I hate at the same time. And I want to discuss my experience of the past, I don't know, three years with it. Now, I originally got this chainsaw uh, to do some firewood cutting inside the garage because I did not obviously want to run a gasoline-powered chainsaw, my nice Husqvarna Pro Series saw inside the garage. So I said, hey, let me get something small, uh, just purpose-built, really, to cut just firewood, to cut it down to size. Um, if I occasionally got a piece of firewood that was too long uh, for my larger wood stove. So if anything was, I don't know, say longer than 20 inches, I would cut it down uh, to 20 inches. And that would happen every so often. Instead of using a handsaw or something else or a reciprocating saw like a Milwaukee Sawzall um, or even um, one of those uh, mini, mini uh, Sawzalls uh, from DeWalt, which I ended up using, um, I'll show you in, in just a moment what I'm talking about. Uh, but I, I chose this because obviously it's battery powered, it's quiet, it's not going to make a lot of noise if I need to just cut down one or two pieces of uh, uh, firewood that's longer than it should be. So that's my, my, my initial impression and initial use uh, why I, I chose uh, this, this saw right here. Um, but over the time using it, um, I noticed a couple of drawbacks on it, you know. First thing being that it's really not that heavy, which is a good thing for some people. Um, but when you're cutting firewood, it has no like cutting force. You basically have to like wrench into it and torque the saw and you're putting more force into it. Normally what's a larger chainsaw, say a 20 inch bar or something, uh, you would like let the, the saw cut on its own. The weight of the saw would cut the log or tree or branch, whatever you're doing. You would just like let it go, and it would cut while you're, you know, you're bracing it, you're holding it. Uh, but with this, with this saw here, you have to literally force it into the piece of wood, which is okay because I understand I'm not going to use it that often. So um, there's a trade-off there. I'm willing to accept that kind of flaw, and it being lightweight, so you don't have that extra oomph to, you know, kind of self-feed. So that's my first kind of gripe with it. It was that, you know, it just is not that heavy. And it's kind of back heavy, to be honest. So if you you balance it, it wants to weigh down towards uh, the battery, you know, away from the wood. So it's going to want to rock up. So you have to literally like force it down. So that was my first kind of you know pet peeve about it. You know, very minor. You know, but it's worth mentioning because not a lot of people are you know the same age as me, which they have enough uh, you know force and, and strength to do that. So if you're an older person, elderly person, you're going to have a hard time with it because you're going to have to put more effort into it. And then the second thing which really uh, kind of bugged me is that every time I would fill up the bar oil and leave it in, on the shelf in the garage, it would completely leak out all over the damn shelf. So I had to put something underneath it like a tray, a rag, um, because, you know, you want to go use this thing and you don't want to have to fill it up every single time. You want to have kind of have it ready to go use it and uh, put it away you know it's like a, a quick thing uh, but it was not a quick thing it ended up being a freaking mess because no matter what the bar oil would leak and I, this is something that i absolutely hate about chainsaws especially cheap ones um mostly all chainsaws out there besides like the pl the pro level ones which cost you know six seven eight hundred thousand plus dollars they all freaking leak all your shit that you get at home depot they leak this stuff like this, this one here leaked. Leaked all over the goddamn, um, you know, the shelf that I had it on. So keep that in mind. You want to put a tray underneath it and expect to go through bar, bar oil all the time if you let this thing sit. So, I know, the other way around that is to, to drain it out every single time you, you're not using it. So you use it, and then uh, you fill it up, you use it, and you, and you basically drain it every single time, which is stupid. I'm not going to do that. I think it even says that in the manual... Um, on the Husqvarna's, but the Husqvarna that I have now does not leak. I'm very happy. It's the, um, the 572 XP Rancher. No, not, not the Rancher. Um, sorry, the, the 572 XP. 
uh, which is a pro level saw. It's about $900 and it does not leak. So I'm very happy with that saw, but this one here, I'm not having this anymore. I don't want anything that leaks oil. I don't have time to be cleaning up mess. You know, my time is valuable. So that's the second drawback that I say uh, this saw has is that it will leak all your bar oil. So keep that in mind. Now, the third thing that uh, bothers me about this saw is that, listen, it does not work anymore. There is something either bound up on the motor or the motor is bad itself, causing it to just lock up. It does not even spin. So totally, it's a total dud right now. It does not work. At a minimum, it's gonna take me time to take this apart and see what's wrong. But you know what? I almost don't wanna deal with that. Um, I've had my time with it and I think it's time to move on with this saw. I really don't need it that often. So I'm just gonna make sure I cut my firewood down the size from now on and not have any freaking stragglers that are like 24 inches or some ridiculous length. Um, so that's my, uh, my experience with this saw. You know, it's, it can be great um, if it lasts. You know, if it wasn't for this thing now not working and dying on me, I, I was gonna use it. I was honestly gonna use it this year, um, you know, in the garage. Like I said, I would never use this thing outside. This thing is a light duty saw. It would never last to the uh, the rigors of doing actual work outside of your property. You know, the blade is still sharp, believe it or not, after me using it over three years. So it has its good sides, you know. But like I said, for me, I think I'm going to move on. I just wanted to share my experience, you know, with this saw. It's a very popular thing that, to, to have here. A mini chainsaw is kind of nice uh, for certain very you know very small tasks this and that light duty stuff uh but this is something i wanted to share with you guys and i think most people would would appreciate the uh the feedback uh, but for me i think it's uh i think it's gonna be bye bye so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please place them right down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please go ahead and do so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video